No train today, thank goodness. Board Boxing, welcome back to the show. We are back covering that Pro Box TV event. If you watched it last night, it's a great platform. Definitely recommend everybody go watch that. If you're a boxing enthusiast, if you're someone who just really likes the sport, the technical aspect, the business side of it, go watch it. They've got interviews, they've got champions commentating. Can't recommend it enough, but let's get into it, man. So Castaneda versus Gonzalez was the headliner for the Pro Box card last night, and this was a great fight. This was a really entertaining fight. You had Gonzalez, the southpaw, versus Castaneda, the orthodox. And it, it, was a, it was a clash of two different styles. Castaneda, someone who loves to stalk the prey, go for it consistently, kind of cut the ring off versus Gonzalez, who has got this kind of ability to where he can throw the quick shots and get away, but he also is not afraid to sit there and go 50-50 and trade with you. So it was a really entertaining night. And if you had watched the first four rounds of this fight and couldn't go any further, you would just assume that Gonzalez just had his way with Castaneda the entire night. The momentum shift that happened in the fifth round beyond that was crazy. Castaneda came back from the dead after being knocked down in the third round from a vicious right hook. Well, really, I shouldn't. The right hook wobbled him. And then really, uh, Gonzalez kind of pushed him over. He threw that straight left that was landing all night, let's be real. But after he rocked him with that right hook, he went to go throw that left straight and uh, kind of just pushed him over. Let, you know, flash knockdown, call it what you want. He was on loose legs, got back up, took the fight right, right back to him, and then the round ended, and then we were right back in it. So through, you know, rounds five, six, there was this momentum shift, maybe some rounds off. They traded a little bit. Gonzalez was moving around the ring a little bit more. Castaneda obviously throwing the more volume just to keep, keep Gonzalez from getting away, keep him at pace. And I saw Castaneda throwing a lot of the same shots that just kind of consistently got blocked. And then he would get hit by the straight right or he'd get hit with the counter hook. And I think Castaneda was having an issue against the southpaw in that fight for those couple rounds. But then starting in round seven, eight, nine, and 10, really, I mean, Castaneda had found this uppercut. You know, he just started using the uppercut again to a point where it got a little obnoxious. I mean, there was a couple points where he was throwing like three, four uppercuts in a row. But it it worked in a way because he hadn't really thrown it for the first half of the fight. He starts throwing it in the later half and uh, Castaneda is kind of a, a, almost similar style to a lot of other fighters that have this late stage kind of energy boost this second wind he was just not phased he just kept going gonzalez you could tell was really starting to tire out towards the eighth ninth tenth round even he was starting to clinch a lot more to get away from it and you know while gonzalez was the more accurate fighter i could see where that would just get tiring you're just constantly running away from it you're getting hit with a few maybe blocking a couple and then dodging a couple but you're just getting tired you're getting gassed and Gonzalez maybe even took his, you know, his foot off the pedal for a little bit and thought he could kind of coast through some rounds. And Castaneda being a game fighter and being that this was, you know, Pro Box TV where these guys are fighting a lot of the same guys, making returns back. He wasn't having it. He wasn't having it. He came back. He fought for every little bit of it. Gonzalez just took too many of the early rounds plus that knockdown to make it really worth it. I think Castaneda ended up winning rounds six, seven, eight. Jeez, I mean, he, I think he even won round nine, but then round 10, it was kind of a stalemate there. I don't think he really did enough to win round 10. You could argue a, you could argue a swing round on round five, in my opinion. Uh, it, both, both fighters, great. And, and for a Wednesday night of boxing for free on YouTube or on the Pro Box TV app, I mean, I, I can't complain about this at all. The in between the rounds is great. Real ones will know what I mean. Great fight, great all around fight. Gonzalez had definitely earned the W. It was a war. It was a brawl. I don't think that there was uh, any bad judging in that decision. Kudos to Gonzalez. Kudos to Castaneda. Uh, Castaneda. I'd love to see him come back. Again, man, just watching these pro box cards is all about getting more familiar with some of these people you may or may not have ever heard of. And I thought that was just super cool to see. Uh, over the last three cards that I have been able to watch, after hearing the commentary from these guys, I feel like I'm so much more in tune with with what's actually happening in the sport and uh, couldn't be more thankful for this platform. So go watch Pro Box TV if you haven't. And uh, yeah, that's all I got.